overdrive like this, a sort of super sort of low end and mid sort of heavy overdrive, I tend to use it more for um, sort of chunky, chunkier rhythm parts. If I was to say, you know, the only guitarist in a sort of situation, it can get a bit big if it's two guitar players. Um, and typically kind of lead stuff where I'm using the bridge pickup because it just kind of, you know, fattens it up a bit. So like today, typically I'll use bridge pickup with a bit of the, the tone wound off. <laughs> Having said that, I would use the, uh, the neck pickup. The great thing about this pedal is it cleans up amazingly well, as you'll hear on the... So I'd use it on the neck pickup, but with the volume down a bit. And then, you know, flip to the bridge pickup. <laughs> Typically, this would be a sound I'd use for sort of slide parts as well, because it's kind of so compressed. So if I just grab the slide. Right now, everything's set at noon. Um, I know there are a bunch of uh, internal dip switches that you can set for more low end and stuff, but yeah, just straight out of the box, set everything at 12 o'clock and it's great for me, works great. <laughs> Here's an example of the pedal with the mid boost turned up slightly and the tone control backed off. Uh, just to give me a slightly kind of more woolly, I guess cream era Clapton-ish sort of sound, but with single coils. <laughs> Again, when you go to the bridge pickup, it'll kind of be even sort of more muffled, but still with, with clarity, um, give you, you know, slightly smoother overdrive sounds. Dare I say, kind of going into sort of dumbbellish territory. I just like it because you can't really get a bad sound out of it. I took it out of the box, set everything to noon, and it just sounded great to me. So yeah, go and check one out. If you dig it, buy it. I dig it. Mm -hmm.